All right, I'm restarting the level one final time. I'm going to strive to prevail this time. I'm going to be prudent and I'm meticulous and wary of my adversaries. I'm not going to bum rush. I'm not going to charge in the fray of battle. I'm just going to be as conservative as possible. I'm going to try to safeguard my body so that I do not succumb to my wounds. I do not want to be trounced. I want to prevail. Her auspicious beginnings may not lie ahead for this hedgehog. So you ideally, you want to leverage homing attacks. You want to harness the potent effect of combos in order to decimate your adversaries. I'm not sure how to activate the powers of the Chaos Emeralds. It's an enigma. Apparently I have um, unlocked one thus far, but I'm unable to utilize it as of right now. So maybe I can gain the capability to utilize the powers of the Chaos Emeralds later on in the game. Accidentally rolled off the cliff. I did not want to fall into the ravine ever again. So, um, I need to be careful about how I leverage my combos. I need to be wary about how I maneuver throughout the map. I do not want to run into a ditch or run off a cliff. Fall into a ravine. What the heck is HQ doing? Constant explosion system feed my ability to plummet through my adversaries. This game is far slower paced than Sonic. Adventure 2. I don't like the idea that the premise is based around utilizing guns. We thought it'd be a novel idea to incorporate guns with some of the Sonic the Hedgehog series, however it backfired on the developers. This idea was discarded in subsequent games. Some of the Hedgehog fans were not fond of them being reliant upon guns. To play games that is not supposed to be a third person shooter. The implementation of the gun mechanic just um, slows down the combat system. This type of your ability to swiftly progress to the level. How do I remove this lid 